Hi, and welcome to LearnToCook.com. I'm Chef Mark. Today we're preparing for the holiday a beautiful fruitcake. So now we're going to prepare our fruitcake. This is a great fruitcake. Lots of beautiful fruit, dried fruit, and all the dried nuts and all sorts of great other ingredients. We're going to combine first a cup of softened sweet butter, unsalted butter, in a mixer. You can use a handheld mixer, but certainly if you have one of these mixers, it's easier to manipulate the ingredients if you have a stationary mixer. So I have a cup of softened sweet butter in there. I'm going to add a half a cup of light sugar, half a cup of dark brown sugar. I'm going to cream those together, and if you've made a cake before, you know that's the creaming process is where you have to beat, and I guess you used to do this by hand some years ago, but you have to beat with a pastry cutter or with a paddle, the paddle attachment on your handheld mixer. If your neighbor has one of these great mixes, mixers, it has to be creamed together, which means it, at some point it'll be fluffy. The butter and sugar form a fluffy mixture. So I like to stop and scrape down every so often. Some of the butter tends to accumulate on the paddle. I just scrape down the sides underneath the paddle itself because sometimes the paddle may not always reach the bottom of the bowl. So be mindful of that. Turn it back on and then we're going to make this fluffy. So we're going to turn up the speed on it. Now, that's, now that that is fluffy, you can see by looking at it, it's fluffed up very nicely, if that's the term. We're going to add three eggs one at a time. Three eggs one at a time is very important. And after each incorporation, make sure it's well mixed before you add the other two eggs. So I like the way that, that looks. It's nice and fluffy and creamy. So the next thing we want to add is the zest of an entire orange and a zest of an entire lemon. Lemon zest. So that goes inside there. And we have three tablespoons of brandy, because that's traditional for a fruit cake. I don't think you want to use an expensive cognac, but any brandy is fine as long as it's drinkable. So we'll scrape down that and give that a little spin. Next, we ground up raw almonds. We have a half a cup of raw almonds um, that we ground up. You don't find raw almonds in the market. Buy the salted almonds and soak them in water three, four hours and takes most of the salt out. You put them in a the food processor and make almond flour. So this sort of helps the, the binding process. So we're going to add the half a cup of ground almonds. I have a cup of assorted nuts. I have pecans. I have walnuts. Put macadamia if you're not. If you want, you can put um, pistachios, um, mixed cup of mixed nuts, um, nuts salted or roasted, baking, walnuts, baking peanuts, and all almonds and pecans. So that goes inside as well. So one cup of that. So let's mix it up. Now we have the favorite part of the fruit cake is all the dried fruit. So we have citron, we have lemon peel, we have beautiful uh, unsulfured apricots, we have some dried figs, uh, the red candy cherries. You can also use green cherries. I have dried, uh, I have prunes inside here. It's, you know, wonderful ingredients for a fruit cake. That's a pound and a half. We've, we've, um, but those fresh, we chop them up by hand. So let's wait, put it on low. Put that pound and a half, all that lovely fruit, all the candied fruit and dried fruit. So any choice you want to put in there, any personal choice of fruit that goes inside, we mix it up a little bit. Then we have three quarters of a cup of sultanas and currants and raisins and dried cranberries. So it's, it's lots of fun, I have to tell you. This is really great for cranberries, Sultanas, raisins, currants. Sultanas, of course, are golden raisins. So we mix that up. While that's mixing, 
I've taken a spring form pan, cheesecake pan, eight inch, sprayed the inside heavily with spray, baking spray, made a collar, inch or so above. Now we're ready for our final ingredient, which is two cups of all-purpose flour, a teaspoon of baking powder, and a quarter teaspoon of salt, which we've sifted earlier. So we're going to fold that in. You want to sprinkle in maybe a quarter of that flour because I want to fold it in by hand. So I have unbleached all-purpose flour for that. And I think I can put the last batch in there. The oven is on 300 degrees Fahrenheit if you have a convection oven. If you have a conventional oven without a fan, 325 degrees, you'll want to bake for an hour at 300 and 25 degrees in a normal non-convection oven. So now that we have all that flour mixture in there, look at that, mixed really nicely. Little step, put all of that good stuff into my sprayed and prepared, uh, you know, what they call cheesecake bottom pan, right? Spring form pan. Just park it in there. Put into the uh, rim first so that it fills in very nicely, nice and tight pack. And then press in the center. Then the final step is you'll want to put some blanched almonds in the center to form a star, if you like. And then some raw almonds or blanched almonds around the perimeter. All around the perimeter, then you bake that in the oven. So here's our baked fruit cake, little E for Escoffier, why not? Uh, came out beautiful, really nice, cooked up beautiful. Let's, let's unhook the side, lift it out. Take off the paper. Move it. What you'll want to do now is to wrap this in saran wrap, uh, totally in saran wrap. Leave this on, wrap this in saran wrap, and then foil. And um, brush with brandy every couple of days. You make this before Thanksgiving, before the winter holidays, so by the end of December. Every few days, you brush a little more brandy on top so it soaks in, and um, it's a beautiful dessert. And there's your um, beautiful fruitcake. Happy holidays to you.